what's going on guys we are back again with another video and I actually just woke up it's a beautiful day I decided to come sit on the balcony talk to you guys for a second we got a few things planned today we're gonna start the day off with a nice long walk with our German Shepherd um, it's too beautiful not to and we just need to get out of the house with this quarantine going on and then once we get back we'll get into the nitty-gritty of making the camera stand for my new camera so I actually picked up the Panasonic Lumix G7 um, I got a great deal from my roommate he it was really helping me out. It came with a nice mic and everything. Um, but now I just need a stand. I ordered a tripod, more of like an on-the-go tripod. But I figured I needed something for my gaming setup. So I thought, why not make it? But as I said before, we're gonna start off the day with a nice long walk, um, just to get out of the house. And yeah, let's hop right into it. I'm sure I'm a little shaky because I don't have a tripod, but we have begun our walk. We're actually going to be walking to a place we've never been before. We're going to go just down this road behind my apartment complex and just keep going. We know there's some power lines with some trails underneath it. So we're just going to keep going, maybe go for like an hour, two hours, who knows. We got everything in my backpack, so we're ready to go. Everything's going good so far. It is very hot. And uh, I think we're gonna start heading back so we can get to the uh, DIY. The trail really wasn't as long as we thought it would be, but I think we're having a good time. We're almost back to the apartment. It's starting to look like it might storm a little bit, um, but we're gonna s hopefully have some good weather so we can build our little camera frame out back. If not, we'll have to do it in my room and that might be tough considering we have Aria, but we'll make it work. All right, so we're back from our walk and uh, now we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna get to the moment you guys have all been waiting for. We're gonna use this piece of wood right here. We're gonna use this piece of wood right here. We've got an assortment of tools and we're gonna build our camera stand. It's not gonna be easy. Um, we're gonna be using a hand saw instead of an automatic saw. I would definitely recommend a electronic saw just to make it a little, a little easier. But yeah, let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna get some measurements going. We're gonna go ahead and trace out everything that we need to cut and then go from there. Not bad, first piece done. So this is actually gonna be our base. Yeah, so basically it's gonna work. We're gonna have almost like a little square going up um, and then we're gonna have a little stand on top and we're gonna sand it down to get the right angle or we might cut it, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but yeah, two pieces down, we have like 10 more to go, so we'll keep you updated. This handsaw so far has been wrecking my wrists, but we're getting the job done. The lines aren't perfectly clean, but they're clean enough, clean enough that we can get it done. It wasn't easy, but we're done with the saw. We got all of our pieces cut out. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit of sanding and then we're gonna kind of construct everything and then once we finish that we're gonna do some paint and we should be all done and as far as attaching it goes we have some wire nails and we have some gorilla glue just to fill in like the cracks we're gonna do 
glue and then nails to kind of like just double it up because the camera's precious. It's expensive. We got to take care of it. Um, so yeah, and we also have some plastic wood. I just have pretty much all these lying around. I didn't go to the store for any of this, so that's kind of why I decided to do this. Um, you might say, why not buy a tripod for 15, 20 bucks? This is more fun. So yeah, we're going to get to it. And this is actually the platform that the camera is going to be sitting on. Essentially, it's going to have these little buffers around the edge to kind of hold it in place. And then it's going to have one side so the camera or so the screen can pop out so you can see yourself while you have it set up. All right, so jump forward a little bit. We've been putting everything together after sanding it all down, and we had a couple issues, um, but it'll be okay. Some of the wood was splitting just from the angle of the nails going in, uh, but all in all, like it's it's pretty sturdy. All right, so we just finished putting all the pieces together. Um, we put some glue to kind of stabilize it in places that it needed, and we glued the top piece on. Um, we just need to let that dry. We also added some small legs to the bottom just for stabilization. Um, it was a little wobbly just from the nails going into the bottom, but now it's sitting pretty perfect. We're just gonna let the glue dry, we're gonna sand it down a little bit, and then to finish it all off, we'll do some paint. Um, we're gonna do black paint right here. Had some leftover from when I made a another thing in the past. But yeah, we'll check back when we're painting. What are you doing? All right, so we gave the glue a little bit of time to dry. It should be good to go, and now we're gonna start applying the paint. I'm gonna start on the bottom, um, and then we're just gonna work our way up, and yeah. We're gonna start just getting the bottom. The finishing touches are being applied. We are finishing up the painting right now. And the sun is about to go down, so it's looking like we might just call it a night um, and then let it dry overnight, let the paint dry, and then check it out in the morning. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, we'll have our finished product pretty soon. The next morning. All right, just woke up. Let's go check out the final product. And the camera stand is finished. We are fully locked in. Now we're ready to stream, record gaming videos, and we're always gonna have that perfect frame every single time. If you guys think it looks great and you wanna give this a go for yourself, I'll have all the measurements in the description. Some of the measurements may vary depending on your gaming setup, but overall the general structure should be the same. And that's it, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below what you think, and hit that subscribe button for more content. I'll catch you guys next video.